Welcome to The Anxious Morning. Every weekday morning, we'll take a few minutes to go over some important lessons that you can use in your anxiety recovery journey. Away from the endless, noisy scroll of social media, The Anxious Morning brings you support, education, inspiration, encouragement, and empowerment. For more, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. We're not changing anxiety, we're changing ourselves. True story. Recovery is not about changing your anxiety, your symptoms, or your thoughts. They will generally stay as they are. Recovery is really about changing you. Before you get all worked up thinking that you have to become a totally new version of you, don't worry about that. Recovery is not about totally reinventing yourself. Recovery is about changing how you react to your anxious thoughts and sensations. Recovery is about changing you, but only insofar as how you relate to anxiety and fear. This may seem like a WTF moment for you when I say this. Most people would assume that the recovery process is about making anxiety go away, or at least quiet down. They would hope that the process of recovery means finding ways to make all those nasty symptoms and thoughts disappear. That is the result that we're after, but that's really a happy side effect of engaging in this process. That's not the primary goal. When we spend our time trying to make the anxiety itself change or go away, things get frustrating. If you're just starting out on this journey, reading this now is going to give you a head start. You can now point your efforts at the proper target. If you've been working the recovery process for some time now and feel like you're not making real progress or that you're continually sliding backward, this might explain why that's happening. When I tell people that I am fully recovered from my anxiety disorders, they usually ask if I ever get anxiety or if I still have panic attacks. The answer is yes, I can experience anxious days. I might even experience a panic attack or two in a given year or so. How can I call myself recovered if this is the case? Because I simply don't care. I experience anxiety like a normal person does now. When I get anxious, I recognize it for what it is. I do not see it as cause to sound an alarm and take special evasive action to get rid of it. Even panic is a mostly non-issue for me as a recovered person. A panic attack starts, peaks, subsides, then ends. And when it's over, it's over. The event does not ruin the rest of my day or cause me to retreat and declare setback. Did I get this way by wrestling my anxiety into some new, smaller form? No, I did not change my anxiety at all. My heart can still race. I can still feel edgy and agitated. I still experience a shortness of breath. I can still experience depersonalization and or derealization. Those things didn't change. I changed. The anxiety just kept on rolling like biology will do. I formed new habits and reactions. I practiced them. I accepted the exposures and challenges as lessons. I took the lessons in and adjusted accordingly. Over time, I built a new relationship with all the nasty stuff. It's the same as it always has been. It's just not so nasty anymore. This is the process of recovery. Take a few minutes and let this sink in. When we accept that we are the variable that must be changed in the equation, we find tremendous power in the process. You can control you. You can make choices. When you stop trying to change the anxiety and start trying to change you, good things happen. Tomorrow, we'll look at what a bad day playbook should look like and what you can do when you find yourself struggling. Hey, if you're enjoying the podcast and you'd like to get a copy of it delivered every morning into your email inbox, including a full text transcription, head on over to the anxious email and sign up for the newsletter. And if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify or someplace where you can leave us a rating or a review, take a moment and rate the podcast and maybe write a small review. It really helps us out or just tell a friend about us. Thanks a lot.